I went to work at the Littleton Veterinary Clinic in 1957 with Harry Juppet Johnson, who was the fellow that really started this practice. He had started it in 1955. However, he'd worked in a small animal practice with a, with a small animal practitioner just north of the original site, but did just equine and bovine work out of there. So Dr. Harry W. Johnson is the person who started the actually started this practice and then I joined in 1957 and then was joined later with Dr. S first by Dr. Vale and then next with Dr. Swanson and the three of us then put this together. Well when I was a little boy I grew up in an environment where I was around horses and hounds and cattle all the time and the veterinarian that we had that took care of my father's horses that he managed was a really a wonderful person and uh, he I can still remember him coming he would come with a white shirt on and a necktie and uh, he always admired him and he was really good to me and he went ahead and uh, as a little boy he talked to my mother and so forth and the farriers that were chewing the horses that he was veterinarian for my dad rode um, were little there were three Irish brothers little fellows they were and so he went to them and asked them to make a little tiny set of front horseshoes they were oh, smaller than most ponies and he gave those to my mother when I was oh six seven years old and said to her and he called me the kid he said when the kid goes to veterinary school or graduates from veterinary school you give him these horseshoes and she gave those to me the day I graduated from veterinary college. My hoof testers. Well the reason my, that I say that about the hoof testers, the hoof testers is like having your special bowling ball. You want to be sure that you have yours and, and you know how the response is going to be applied to a horse's foot or the pressure and the response to interpret. And most of the other things you can get along for a while, uh, but if you don't have your own hoof testers looking at lame horses, that that really is upsetting. <laughs> I went to school. I started the school at Colorado A&M College in Fort Collins, Colorado, in 1951, and then I proceeded there. To four years later, I was. I got my Bachelor of Science degree and we had the option to have our diplomas titled Colorado A&M College or Colorado State University and I chose to get mine with Colorado A&M College then and then when I graduated two years later from the College of Veterinary Medicine I got my degree from Colorado State University so I have two different diplomas two different titles same place My favorite health product is uh, the antibiotics. They're they they're marvelous. I have several horses, and some would say I had 64 pets. That's all of the my foxhounds that I am the huntsman for. hunt my hands. <laughs> the uh, organized mounted fox hunting, as it is called, has a structure whereby there is a pack of hounds and then the person that manages those hounds, both in the field and in the kennel, is called the huntsman. And then there's other people involved also. The, the huntsman has people that help him called whipper ends. And then we're, we're providing the entertainment with the hounds and the hunting process for the people in the field and that's the people that come to enjoy the hounds and the horses and the countryside and we do that very similar to the, what was the original hunting started in England 4,000 years ago and we try to adhere to those traditions so that's what it is it's a mounted fox hunting except uh, our quarry is coyotes instead of foxes we don't have foxes in this part of the country <laughs> Well, that's easily answered. My greatest experience was being involved with the correction of a significant problem that one of the horses on the 1984 stadium jumping team in the Olympics was a, a client of mine, a patient of mine, 
and he got injured on just as he got to California and uh, I was on the roundup ride they called me off of the roundup ride and I was in the Rocky Mountains at noon on one day and I was in Los Angeles that night at midnight and didn't leave for three weeks and to get the resolution of his problem and to have them win the gold medal uh, was the most exciting professional thing that's ever happened to me. My wife, we, we started dating in college and uh, I, was, I had three polo ponies at CSU that I was working on and she said she wanted to ride, that she'd ridden bareback as a child and, and I, saw, I thought, well, I guess I just as well find out if she can ride and she could really ride and I had a horse that was uh, silly for me to ride and silly for my dad to ride and she said oh, I want to ride that horse and I thought well I just will find out if I'm <laughs> interested in this lady or not so I put her on that horse and that horse never moved uh, did an incorrect thing and my father came up to the first polo game and I had Uni riding that horse to the polo field and he said to me what in the world are you doing letting that woman ride that horse <laughs> And I said, you just watch, and my dad, I'll never forget, he says, well, I'll be damned. <laughs> so anyway, everything worked out, and we dated, and we got married before I was out of veterinary school. And she received her, it was called a Ph.T. degree, and that's, that's putting hubby through. And from that time, that time originally, we got married until, for well, up to now, she's been a wonderful asset to my veterinary practice allowing me to do the things that I wanted to do professionally and helped me a great great deal and so in looking at that question I thought most of the other things are material but that she's not material she's the real deal <laughs> I guess ride a horse hard at, at 80 years old <laughs> one of the most meaningful things to me there's two other than my family and all of those things and one was being inducted into the Hall of Fame of the American Quarter Horse Association and the second was was the uh, honor of being chosen as a citizen of the West here in Colorado. It is a, a uh, honor that people have developed in Colorado and they choose a person every year as the citizen of the West and it started out with the March of Dimes actually and then it w then went to the National Western Stock Show related also with the, the Roundup Riders of the Rockies but a committee chooses the individual. Uh, um, it's an honor to be a part. President Vice uh, or Vice President Cheney was inducted in there. And Senator from Wyoming and several of my older friends have been inducted so that was uh, an honor. I'm the only veterinarian that's been inducted in there. <laughs>